Very good afternoon, everybody. One more Friday finishing uh, Gujarat election uh, exit polls uh, came yesterday. And this is a very difficult market to trade. You know, even the most expert are very much at a loss how to trade this market. So in this market, if you are able to save your money, you are actually doing a good job. So this was the market, you know, let's see. This is how this market was. Yesterday, market was nicely moving down. This is where uh, I think exit poll result was there in the news, leak maybe. And uh, then the market rallied up almost 80 points in the hope that BJP will be retaining uh, its government. And uh, then today, after the exit polls were out and almost all the exit polls uh, are uh, giving a majority to the ruling government, market opened almost uh, 90 points up. And you can see now, even at this point, the market is at about 85 points plus. So this is an emotional market. This is not a rational market. This is always an emotional market. It is you know, the perception that the things will become better now. But the fact is, everything is the same. The GDP growth is exactly the same. The results are exactly the same. It is a fact that the PE of Nifty is still 26.5 on a very expensive side here. And it is also a fact that December is normally considered a profit booking. And today, the market remains sideways for the whole day because the results are on Monday morning. So nobody wanted to take any undue risks. So for the whole day, this market remained very, very sideways here. Uh, I was in this market, you know, this is what I was trading in the morning with my traders. Instead of putting all my money on one or two stocks, I decided to spread it evenly into various, you know, and the moment I'm getting profit, I'm getting out and then going into the next one. So. Adani, Apollo, Access, Bank, DLF, ICIC, Jubilee, Mind, SBA, Tata Steel, Tech, Mahindra, and Titan. And uh, booked a profit of about 8,316 in the stocks that I was trading. And uh, the futures that I was trading, you know, I booked a profit of 7,235. So overall, about uh, 15,000 rupees of profit I have booked. Last uh, few days have been nice with me. Uh, just two days ago, I uploaded a video with about uh, you know seventy thousand rupees of profit, which was this one. Yesterday was again a good day where I had about uh, twenty four thousand rupees of profit. And uh, overall, you know, this month has been doing well. These are the trades I take in my trading room with my traders. So here, you know, last four days have been very kind to me about 1 lakh 8,000 rupees of profit on my 10 lakh rupees of capital. And today, I do not have an intention to take my trades till Monday because Monday is uncertain. We don't know what is going to happen. Many times exit polls have been proven wrong. So one thing I know, I don't know whether it will go up, I don't know whether it will go down. But one thing I know is it will be a volatile market to go for. So I would like to close my trade before the market finishes. I'm still in two nifty shots, hoping, assuming maybe in the end some profit booking will come, which for the moment has not come. So it is right there. So I square off one. Just uh, 13 minutes left for the market to close. I square off uh, one more Nifty. And uh, always trade, people say, even in the end, should I be with the stop loss? Of course. What if the last long range candles come in the last five minutes? Then what will you do? So that's why it's very, very important to stick to your rules. And today I was, you know, trading, but most of the trades didn't work. 
and uh, at that time the trader uh, has to accept today is not a 50000 rupees profit day my 10 15000 rupees are good enough and looking at the trend of the market i think i'll close this one also from my stop loss order and let me finish this also and i am uh, all the trades are finished now in then always check if there is a pending order left nothing is left so i finished today with a profit of 7500 rupees in my futures and a profit of 8316 rupees in my stocks so about 15800 rupees this is my profit for today which i am very happy considering that we were part of a sideways market let's uh, look at this market let's uh, check out how does it market looks on a daily chart this candle pattern that you are just seeing is called a doji it is said that if you understand properly the doji the market comes to you and says loji that's how powerful is a doji and we have seen so many times this market has opened with gaps it has come down it has filled the gaps here it has happened here it has happened here you know and this happened here gap filling this one has been filled and now i see the pressure is on the downward side the maximum this nifty went up today was about 118 points and we see we are in a volatile you know market we are basically in a sideways market we are neither in a uptrending market we are neither in a downtrending market if you see here if we mark this level here where we are see almost around this level the price has gone up gone down gone up gone down gone up and uh, won't be very surprised if after the initial euphoria uh, bjp see here monday morning looks to be a short for me in any way if bjp wins it is not a news it is already factored in and if it loses of course havoc will happen and the market will just tank down so i would be preparing for my shots on monday maybe not in indexes maybe in certain stocks i can have a look at it so let's see what are the retracement levels of this market now so i see this is how the market is the market has uh, been retracing 50% then it has moved up if i look at the levels where it is right now this is the swing high this is the swing low and we see it is again standing at a perfect uh, golden fibonacci level 61% and last time this was the level from which it fell down again went it had almost a uh, seven eight days of correction that happened in this so you know don't be in a hurry to buy on monday at least i won't be it's your choice and i always say buy people's fear and sell people's greed so still a downward pressure on the market look at this candle this is having a big pressure from the top that is coming here so if i look at the uh, bank nifty bank nifty has uh, also been uh, almost the same here after a downtrend it retraced up but as, as i was talking in my last video the retracement of bank nifty was more than the retracement of the nifty and today also if i look at the candle there is more weakness in bank nifty than in nifty so keep an eye on the banks especially the expensive ones they might give you a good uh, down move especially the psu bank some of them are very expensive now and uh, from this level if i look at uh, bank nifty it was almost the same as nifty you cannot trade this market so in this market if you have lost money don't blame yourself this market is a very difficult market to 
trade. It is not a trending market. It is a sideways market. So unless you are an expert, you either remain sideways or you learn how to book your small, small profits. Bulila trading. That is the style of trading that you can use into this market that you are looking at here. Another stock that was very weak today, and this is where I made most of my money, that was the State Bank of India, which has been falling consistently right from 318 rupees level to 313 rupees level. So that's another stock that is weak. And if we see, and this is a stock which has been slowly slowly coming down and uh, i had marked the levels for this stock uh, about a few weeks ago and slowly even though the market has gone up this has not gone up and uh, i would be trading for a 285 level and if that breaks maybe for a 200 and you know 50 rupees level this is what is looking into this market, guys. So trade with caution. I would be trading with caution. So I'm telling my traders that uh, in this market, there are enough shorting opportunities available. There are so many stocks that are short. There is some profit booking coming in the end now. About 73 points down is where the index is at this point. So take care on this market, guys. And uh, if you look at the, the bigger time frame, this is the monthly chart uh, of uh, State Bank of India forming a double top. If I go to the index, so we are in a market that has rallied up and maybe trying to take a breather here. On a weekly chart, we see you're also getting one more, you know, doji. A spinning top more or less so keep an eye on the market uh, wait for it to go in a direction catch the trends and uh, two things i always know never allow your small loss to become a big loss and uh, never nobody has ever lost any money by not taking a trade so next week let's see where the market goes after the Gujarat election results, but one thing I have been saying consistently for many weeks that you are an expensive market. There are buying opportunities, but there are more selling opportunities into this market. So I'm finishing off today, and that's my result card today. It is a total of about 15,000, is what I have made into this market. All the best. Bye bye and see you again.